All right, hey sixth graders. We are going to try an at-home experiment since we aren't able to do a lot of hands-on while we are away from school. So we are going to make salt and vinegar crystals. To make salt and vinegar crystals, you are going to need a cup of hot water, preferably boiling, but ask a parent before you use the stove, please. And you are going to need a fourth a cup of salt. You are going to need some vinegar. We're going to use two teaspoons of vinegar. Food coloring is optional. And you're going to need some sponges. I do not have any clean just like regular sponges. So we're gonna use makeup sponges for my demonstration. You can also go outside and find like a rough rock will work too. The crystals will look a little bit different in shape than if you use a sponge, but it should still work if you don't have a clean sponge. And then we are going to need a bowl for mixing and a shallow dish to allow our crystals to grow in. I'm just using an old piece of Tupperware. Um, so again, ask mom or dad, grandma, somebody for something that they're not going to store dinner in tonight for leftovers. And let's get started. So I've got water boiling on the stove. We're going to turn that off and let's measure a cup of our boiling water. I'm making a mess. Okay. And we're going to stir that together with our salt. So let's go ahead and stick this in our cup here. And we're going to stick our fourth a cup of salt and two teaspoons of vinegar. And I used sea salt. Again, the direction said you could use like any kind of salt, uh, Himalayan salt, sea salt, Mediterranean salt. I'm scared I'm gonna spill. Okay, let's do this here. Okay, it's one. up you want to make sure that salt gets really good and dissolved in there take our two sponges. You really only need one, but I wanted to try two. And since I've got a little divider in here, I'm going to put two sponges in here. And I'm actually going to pour this back in to my measuring cup just to make it a little bit easier to pour. And we're going to slowly pour this mixture of salt, vinegar, and water over the sponges so that it, the sponge will soak up the liquid and the liquid will almost cover the bottom of our tray here. But you're not going to use all of the liquid. Some of it will get saved for later. So let's carefully pour this over our sponge. And 
and just about cover the bottom. Yeah, that looks good. And then over here, same thing. It's like plenty. Okay. okay, so then I still have some liquid left over and we're gonna save that in a jar for later with a lid because every day when you have this sitting out, the water will evaporate a little bit and so you can add a little bit more of your liquid. And then we're going to, if you want to use food coloring and you have food coloring, again, please don't make your parents go to the store. We're trying to do this with things that we have at home. And we're going to put a couple of drops just on the sponge. And then as the crystals grow, they should turn, in that case, green. Whoops. And over here, I'm going to do blue and the best color in the world, purple. All right. So then we want to set our dish in a sunny, warm place where it's going to get good air circulation. And overnight into tomorrow, we should start to see some crystals growing. We can let them grow for a couple of days. Um, you guys can take pictures and share them with me. And Mr. Smith, we would love to see how your experiment turns out. Um, but let this sit and then as the water evaporates and you don't have any more in the bottom of your tray, you can take your extra and pour it just around into your tray and let the crystals keep growing um, for kind of as long as you want or until your liquid runs out. Um, I'm going to post the directions for this on Google Classroom. Again, please ask your parents before you make a mess and ask for help before you use the stove and be kind and considerate and clean up their kitchen. Don't leave a mess when you're done. And hopefully this works and you guys have a lot of fun.